Good day. Welcome to 20 Minutes or Less. I am Sir Joseph Daniel Barrett. And I'm Lee Newton. <laughs> Well, this is just some nifty little news. The Museum of London Archaeology went digging around over in East London and they unearthed Shakespeare's original theater, like the first one. It's the venue that housed the first ever performances of Henry V and Romeo and Juliet. History, theater, art. The name of the venue is the Curtain Theater and it showcased the works of Billy Shakespeare's before he hit up the Globe Theater. The location was lost for centuries, but the Museum of London Archaeology discovered the original site in Shoreditch on Hewitt Street. And it's only a few hundred yards away from another theater that was dug up back in 2008 called The Theater. So far they've discovered the foundation of the theater and the gravel yard and both are very well preserved. The gravel yard was the place where all the theater goers would gather to stand and watch the production. The museum people expect to find more sections as they continue the dig. So there's a little bit of folklore associated with this theater story and it goes like this. James Burbage was this big time actor manager who was kicking it at the theater, the theater. He got into this argument with the landlord and proceeded to dismantle the theater overnight. James jumped over the river and started erecting the globe. Building big ass theaters doesn't happen overnight so he needed another venue to stage his place for two years. That venue you was the curtain. Joseph, this was the first place that Henry ever uttered, but if it be a sin to covet honor, I am the most offending soul alive. Ah, chills. And Juliet said, oh, parting is such sweet sorrow. Yeah, yeah, and Romeo was like, Juliet, get your butt down from that balcony, cause hey, sexy girl, I got some jujubes and I know they're your favorite. Right? Dominic Drumgoole, artistic director of the Globe right now, said, I love the fact that we are excavating London and slowly clearing away the miserable piles of Victoriana and Empire and revealing the wild, anarchic, and joyous London which is lurking underneath. I love it too, Dominic! I mean, it's invigorating to think about what we're gonna do with this historic find. It represents the beginning of the career of the biggest name in theatrical history. They'll no doubt surround the space with monuments and statues that, that honor the beloved William Shakespeare. They're surrounding it with new offices and some retail and residential space. A pox! A pox! Both your houses. I bite my thumb at you. Get thee to a nunnery. I know so many quotes. You're very good at that. You're very good. But in all seriousness, it is sad and really pathetic that we can make such an astounding discovery and then throw a, a Starbucks on top of a it. A pox! A pox on your venti latte! A pox! So what is your favorite Shakespeare play? Let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to click the like and subscribe button or click the annotation down below. Go to sourcefed.com for our five daily stories and you know, every other story we've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. I am Joseph Daniel Barrett. Oh, thank you! Oh, thank you! Thank you! Oh, thank you! Oh, thank you! Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh,